Okay, enough tuning already. Settle, people. Quiet, please. Strings. One and one, main title. And a one, two, three, four. Not so good? What? No way! You try, Mouse. Okay, Magic Eight Ball. Last chance. This is gonna be the best, most way not boring summer ever. Right? Signs point to. Yes! Yay! You rock, Mouse. Don't leave me hanging. Judy, you almost ready? The bus will be here in five minutes. Almost ready. Good. You don't want to be late for the last day of school. Shh, 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 shh. Help me, Mouse. Where am I? Ah. Hairbrush, hairbrush, hairbrush. Oh, hairbrush. See, here's the thing, Mouse. You know how every summer is S for Snoresville? Because all I ever do is visit Grandma Lou and get a sunburn and pick my scabs and watch TV. And it's not even cable. But this summer's going to be different because I have a plan. A P-L-A-N for the most super duper double rare, not bummer summer Judy. ever. Coming! Yes. Look, Mom. Hey. Look, Dad. Nice. Hi. Meet you in the bus, Dink. Bye. Is that a new trend? Wearing pajamas to school? Just be happy she remembered her shoes. Rocky! Judy! Last day, no more homework, no more tests. No more big face finish the pets. Yeah. What's with the Mr. Potato Head hair? I wouldn't talk, Mr. Frank Eats Paste Pearl. For your eyes only. And Amy and Rocky. TP meeting. After school for way important summer plan. the last day of school or something? Yeah! Frank. Don't get too excited. There's still three hours and 27 minutes until summer officially begins. In fact, guess what I have here? Hot off the press, a pop quiz. What? No way! On the last day of school. Oh, I just got a few on. questions to make sure that you're paying attention. All right. <clears throat> Question number one. How many times did I wear a purple tie to school? 27, 27, 100, 100, 100, 100. Never. Never is correct. Excellent, Jessica. Ha <laughs> ha. Pink face fin strikes again. Question number two. <sighs> How long did it take our class to go around the world? Eight and a half days. You guys are breezing through these. It's too easy for you. I got to go deeper. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. Ooh, oh, this is a good one. This is a big one. Mucho grande. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Can anyone guess? And this means you, Class 3T. What I, Mr. Todd, will be doing this summer. We need a clue. Give us a clue. <laughs> okay, okay. Into a dull roar. Dull roar. Let's see. Ooh, I have the perfect clue. The clue 
is... Oh! Oh, oh I the trainer shows me! Oh, oh, I swear we forgot! Let's go ahead. Oh, the bear trainer! Let's dance. Oh, Great guess, but sadly, no. Any other guesses? All right. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> well, I come from the teacher's break room with a banjo on my knee. Now listen up, dear students. It's so elementary. Girl, class 3T, you'll want to look for me. Because if somehow you find me, there's a prize. Oh, yes, sir. -y. You'll see me at the mall, the pool, the park, and by the sea. And sometimes you'll find me at the public library. Oh, last three teeth, you'll want to look for me. Because if somehow you find me, there's a prize. Oh, yes, sir. -y. You'll see me at the mall, the pool, the park, and by the sea. And sometimes you'll find me at the public library. On my face, you are so dead. Do you feel anything? Yeah. A toad. That slimy. for my plan? Introducing the one and only Judy Moody Mega Rare Not Bummer Summer Dare. I don't get it. Okay, you know how we always hate summer because it's boring with a capital B? I don't hate summer. I love summer. Anyway, this will solve all our problems. I spent two days and 16 erasers figuring it out. Ride scream monster, surf a wave, are these the dares? Yep, so we do these dares, and for each one we get 10 thrill points, plus bonus points if we do something crazy like ride the screen mounts with no hands, or loser points if we chicken out. At the end of summer, we add it all up, and if we reach 100, then presto whammo, we just had the best summer ever. Is that thrilladelic or what? Um, <clears throat> it's thrilladelic, only I kind of forgot to tell you something. Um, he forgot to tell you that he's going away for the summer. What? Yeah, it's a circus camp. 
I'm gonna learn how to walk on a tightrope and do magic tricks and stuff. And I won't be here either. I'm going to Borneo. <laughs> you guys, I thought you were serious. Borneo? What even is Borneo? It's an island in Indonesia, and I am going with my mom. We leave in a week. Me too. On Friday. That is so not fair! How am I supposed to have the best summer ever if you're not even here? I'm not going anywhere. You can have fun with me. Great. Just great. Looks like somebody's in a bad mood. Really? Who? See, Mabico, Docky, and Amy are going away for the summer. Could you please not talk with ABC peas in your mouth? A ABC what? What? Already been chewed. Oh. oh God. Guys. Oh. Okay, guys. Mind your manners, please. Anyway, I could care less about Rocky and Amy. I mean, going to circus camp. That's lame. Rocky's going to circus camp? You know, that's a great idea. You know, I think his grandparents used to run that, the, the famous circus Zang Zini. Zang Zini. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Can we please not talk about Rocky? Hey, wanna know what I'm doing this summer? I'm gonna catch Bigfoot. Bigfoot? <gasps> Where did you even hear about Bigfoot? Hello, he's all over the news. Oh. Yeah, in the newspapers, too. Yeah, they've been uh, Bigfoot sightings everywhere. Valley Rottenberger saw him in the mall. At the mall? I, I thought Bigfoot lived in the woods. But sometimes he has to buy stuff. There's no such thing. It is too. Want to help me catch him? I'd rather catch poison ivy. Thank you. Mom? Can I please put ice cream and sprinkles on top go to circus camp, please? Honey, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just too expensive, you know? We can't afford it. But if I learn how to do circus stuff, I can quit school and you can loan me out to a circus and all my gobs of money. Okay, Please. Well, you're not quitting school and we're certainly not loaning you out to a circus. No one in this family has any imagination. And Rocky is a circus freak. Leave me behind, unfriend. I am never not Speaking to him again! But what if you hate circus camp? Are you nuts? Then why would I hate circus camp? Because it won't all be tons of fun. I bet they make you shovel elephant poop. Ha, ah, good one. Yeah, and did you know it weighs like 200 tons? Plus, it smells worse than a corpse flower. Are you ready for your send off, Brock? Why are you going to Bordeo? Because of this lost tribe called the Penan. They've lived in the rainforest since forever, but all their land is being destroyed because of logging. So anyways, my mom's going there so she can write an article on them, and hopefully we can save them. You're so lucky. 
I never get to save a lost tribe. I wish you could come. It's not that far away, you know. It's only like 9,000 miles. Lots of people go to Borneo for a vacation. Really? Does it cost a gazillion dollars? I don't think so. Then maybe we could go. There's no reason we have to spend every summer at Grandma Lou's, right? Hey, Megan, pass. We leave in an hour. I'm ready. Go ask your mom. I will. See ya. In case she says no, here's something to remember me by. Sweet. Save summer? I, I, I didn't know it was in trouble. Listen to this. Instead of going to Grandma Lou's, boring, let's go to unboring Borneo. Borneo? Okay, you know that's like halfway around the world, right? So? It's got a rainforest and lost tribes that need to get found. Okay, but do you have any idea how expensive it would be? Oh, to... stink! We're going to Borneo, but we need money -o. So let's have a yard sale. I'll sell my pizza table collection. Yes, that's right. Five pizza tables, only $9.99. Oh, oh. You can sell your world's biggest jawbreaker. World's biggest jawbreaker, now No can do. Can't. I'm busy. Are these cranberries? Uh, yes. But... Okay, bye. What? Bye. Okay, sweetie, can you just, um, you know what? Sit down for a second. I just want to talk to you about something. Um, so, I was just on the phone with your other grandma, you know, my mom, and, um, you know how she and Gramps are, are moving to that retirement community? Well, I'm afraid Gramps hurt his back. So, you know, he's gonna need a little help, so... You mean we're flying to California to visit them? <gasps> oh, no. That's almost as good as no. Borneo! Yes! Hang, hang tight yes! for one second. Oh, um, yes. let me get a little more specific. Thank you, if thank I could just... you. Yeah. Did you tell her? Uh, uh not, not quite. Uh -huh. Honey? Listen, Jelly Bean, something's come up. Your mom and I have to, uh, fly to California in a few days. Yeah. And you and, and Stink are staying here. What? You're going to leave me here? To die of starvation? And boredom? And Stinkdom? Okay, kiddo, it, it is not gonna be that bad. Your Aunt Opal's coming. Aunt who? My sister. Judy, you've heard me mention her a million times. So? I never actually met her. Uh, you did when you were little. She could be totally evil. She could be a zombie for all I know. Oh, do I look like a berry bush? Uh, I'm trying to pick out Bigfoot. Well, in, in that case, absolutely. Oh, yes. Definitely. 100%. Yes, great, bye. So let me get this straight. I'm not going to California. I'm not going to Borneo. I'm not going to circus camp. And now I'm not even going to Grandma Lou's. Then this is the way worse double dread bummer summer ever! Roar! This is supposed to be the summer of a hundred thrills, but instead... Judy, it's the ice cream truck! I am so not in the mood! Ow! Dear Magic 8-Ball, could this summer get any worse? Without a doubt. Ugh! Summer just got way worse. An awful has landed. Can't you please come home or else send me a ticket to Borneo? Judy, come down and say hi to your aunt. I can't! Not until September! I bet she has warts mouse and evil oogly boogly eyes and makes us eat fish guts for breakfast. Dad says come down or you're in big trouble. Can you read the sign? where it says I'm spending the summer in my room. Really? 
What about food? I have a basket. You can put food inside, and I'll lift it up. What about TV? Check it out. It's going to be a periscope. I'll be able to see the whole living room. Cool. What about going to the bathroom? <laughs> Stink. I'm a girl. Ah, What's that? Fire! Fire! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, bigger. Do you remember this? <laughs> Kinda. Wow. You've got more bracelets than my math tutor. And she's in college. Here, you want to have this one? It's made out of yak hair. Really? I got it off a monkey for 500 rupees. Wow. <gasps> cool. <gasps> wow, thanks. Rare. Okay, but here's your real present, stinker. This is your present. A mood ring? How did you know? I think you're a big hit, Hope. You like it? I love it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but uh, what do you want to do about dinner? <gasps> Pizza! A large wine surprise and a pepperoni with tuna fish. Want to go to Bone Bangs while we wait? Sure. Yay, because I want to show Zeke my book and prove to you that Big Book exists. Right. First edition. Who's the girl? Are you Bigfooter? That's my sister Judy, who doesn't believe in Bigfoot. Seriously? Mega, total, super, seriously. she can handle the cave the what big foot lamps big foot lamps Ow. welcome to the headquarters of the bigfoot believers association It's great. Thanks. What is this? A clubhouse for bats? Observe. Yeti from the Himalayas. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Mandis of the Great Northwest. Momo along the mighty Mississippi. In the outback of Australia, he's Bunyip. Call him what you will. One fact is clear. Bigfoot lives. Is this cool or what? In 1978, Athelstan Morris captured definitive proof that the subgenus Gigantopithecus thrives in the modern era. That's his face. Check that out. Bigfoot, no longer just for scientists. This is why they call it the Bigfoot. 
See what I'm saying? This is like size 44 for man. That's it. And I got that photograph right there, right there. You saw it, y'all see it right there. We've been meeting here for a year, ever since this guy up north spotted Bigfoot and caught it on camera. Since then, we've been tracking down Bigfoot's every move. He is definitely headed our way. And now for the proof. I keep it in cold storage. Cold storage? Hey, do you know a Mr. Todd? Nope, never heard of him. And now, prepare to have your mind blown. A rare certified photo of Bigfoot. Look, but don't touch. Seriously, that's a guy in a sweater. You nuts. That is Bigfoot. Agreed. If you need more proof, come to one of our meetings. Tuesdays at 6. Can. I'm busy on Tuesdays. From now until always. Come on, Stink. It's pizza time. She'll be back. She'll be back. I didn't know what the backyard was missing until I saw it. It's Morocco and Virginia. She really doesn't travel light. Mm -mm. She travels with lights. Right. I hope you guys save room for my dessert. Oh, well, redecorated the patio and dessert. Opal, you spoil us. Hey, stink. Oh, honey, don't read at the table. It's rude. I know, but look at this. Page 87. Bigfoot's bed. See, he storms down on all the grass. Ta-da! Tangerine fondue! Do you remember this? Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna finish uh, packing. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. But thank you. <laughs> Enjoy Carry though, on. guys. Hot <laughs> dogs for dessert? Yeah. I used to make this for your dad when we were kids. Those Fruit Loops. Yeah. Dig in. Mm. That doesn't count. What's wrong with Bali? This is nothing. When I was in Bali, I ate grilled cockroaches. Gross. I'll tell you what, if you take a bite, you can be in my club. The I Ate Something Gross Club. A club? Rare. Just one bite and we're in? Yeah. Pass on, ducks. OK, one, two, three. Mm. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> Good. There's more fruit loops. <laughs> Triple high five, you guys. Club members. Oh, wow. United. <laughs> so after the Peace Corps, I trekked across the Sahara, and then I went to the Kunstschule in Berlin, and I did all this really cool underground art stuff. And then I moved to Bali, which is so beautiful, and I lived there until about a month ago. Mega cool. Is that where belly dancing's from? It's Bali, not belly, silly. It's an island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. So, do you have any fun summer plans I should know about? Well, I was going to have the best summer ever, but my friends ruined it. Ugh, I hate when that happens. Seriously, we're going to do all these dares and get thrill points. But they left, so no dares. I love dares. When I was in Kenya, somebody once dared me to ride in an ostrich race. My ostrich won, but I fell off at the start. You know what, Aunt Opal? You just gave me an idea. I mean, what if we still did the dare chart, but made it a race? Me, Rocky, Amy, and Frank. Hey, we hey. could each do our own dares and keep track of our points. First one to get to 100 wins. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Aunt Opal! Dear Amy and 
Rocky. Uber rare idea. Let's do a dare race, starting right now. First one to get to 100 points wins. What do you say? And the winner is Judy! It's from Rocky. A dare race? I am in. Check out what I did today. That's 10 thrill points for sure, don't you think? Just you wait, Rocky Zang. Just you wait. Ah, better yet, how about I choose some and I'll stick it on the wall. Do we have candy from breakfast? No, no. Hot water, Listen. No for breakfast. Hot water, Thank you. Yes, you have to take a shower. Oh. I love you, buddy. Bye. 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 Synchronized watches as of 2.12 p.m. Tuesday, July 7th. The thrill race is on! So what's the first dare? Scream Monster? Nope. This. We're gonna dress in leotards? No, don't you see? He's walking on a rope. A tight rope above the ground. Death defying. Yeah. Where do we get a tightrope? Perfecto. What do you think you're doing? I'm building a trap for Big Court. I'm gonna learn you a peanut butter. He loves peanut butter. That's on page 52. And then, boom! A net will fall out of this tree and land on his head. Not out of this tree. It's mine. I called it. You can't call a tree. Really? Watch me. Mine. 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 But now's our chance before Sting gets back. Come on, what's more important? Thrill points or ice cream? It's okay, all right. Ready for 
the scream monster? Hey, Judy. What? All this pink stuff. It's my prom dress. I have to take it to the cleaners. So first we go in the tilt world. After we get ice cream. Right, and snow cones. And corn dogs, and gum, and gum. Rare. We'll be ready for the scream monster for sure. I'm thinking you'll see me at the mall, the pool, the park, and by the sea, Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom! I was sure he'd be in there. Don't worry, we'll find him. We have all summer. Yeah. Scream Monster! Fragilistic XP Thrilladelic. Jeez Louise! How many stroke points is that? Ten. Plus bonus points for no hands. No food on the ride, kid. What? I'm not throwing all this out. Then step out of line. Frank, we've been waiting in line forever. Surrender the snow cone. That's so good. Seriously, we gotta start earning some throw points because so far we have zero. You guys coming or going here? Okay. Come, okay? okay. August 4th. Just so you know, I'm up to 37 thrill points. How many do you have? Please welcome Rocky the Magnificent, who is merely the assistant to Judy, the even more magnificent. And now, let's watch the master at work. I warned you not to throw up on me. Can you put me back together later? I think so. What did you say? I said, I think so. You think so what? Nothing, never mind. Hey, 
You want to go to my Bigfoot meeting? It starts in 15 minutes. Stink, I told you a bazillion trillion times. Bigfoot is for bozos. Okay, just don't be asking for my autograph when I catch him and get all famous. <laughs> Let's see. 10 points for riding the scream monster. Minus five for blue throw up. And five for prom dress equals. You're right, Mouse. A big, fat donut. Holy macaroni! Whoa, what's all that? Hey, okay, I can't tell if it should be a hat, or a wheel, or a shield. Um, I think it's the lid to the garbage can. Yeah, I know, but what is it really? What is all this anyway? It's my traveling art studio. Oh, you really are an artist. Yeah, I'm a gorilla artist. Gorilla? As in monkey? No, as in under the radar. A gorilla artist makes art out of everything and puts it everywhere. Why? Because it's fun and it's daring. <gasps> I have an idea. Ta-da! Wow, I love it! I told you it was a hat! That looks great! <gasps> Look, we're beautifying the world with our amazing art! Great! Now, all we have to do is sneak over to the library late at night and put our hats on the lions. <gasps> Rare! That's ten throw points for sure. Because what? You gave me homework. He said to look for Bigfoot scat. Scat. Now, scientific term for animal droppings, also known as poop, dung, or doo-doo. But that's not its only meaning. Are you sure he wasn't telling you to scat? Scat. Verb. Slang term meaning to exit, scram, or go away. Gotcha, stink. Uh, Judy. Take long, I hope. Okay, this spatula is our last hope. What some? An ABS? Already been slobbered? No thanks. It's gonna be okay. Okay, more leverage. Hang in there. More pressure. Almost. Oh. Almost. This was the worst day of my life. I'm sorry, I'll do anything you want, anything to make it up to you. Anything? Mm-hmm. Well, tomorrow night there's a cemetery creep and crawl. Can we go? I don't know. Is it worth thrill points? Yes. <sighs> then totally. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Where should I put the scat in, Noble? Fridge or freezer? Whatever. It's your animal poop. Okay. I think freezer. Hey, Judy, we're gonna leave at seven and then we're gonna eat our picnic at the cemetery. What do you think? Yeah, extra points for eating the skeletons. And I need them, because Amy just swam with sharks. Let me see, let me see! Whoa. <laughs> wow, swimming with a shark, that's cool. You're gonna lose this way so bad. Hey, look, you think it's green? Green with envy. 
Do you like pods, gum? Do you like boogers? Stink, you're an intergalactic booger. Hey, where are you going? To the cemetery. We're walking, right? It's miles from here. We have to take Humphrey. Who's Humphrey? That's one of the dad calls that car. No way! You know your dad had a bike named Humphrey when we were kids? Let's take bikes. Not allowed after dark. Bummer. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Steering wheel. Gas. Brakes. Ignition. Frog. You know how to drive, right? Of course. I drove across the Horn of Africa. That was 10 years ago, I'm sorry. Ours will reverse. Got it now. You call that driving? No worries. They'll come back to me. Is there a map or something? Because I have no idea where I'm going. Got one. <laughs> Jessica Finch. Can you get a ticket for driving too slow? All right, backseat driver. Virginia? Of course we are. Look, it's Larkspur Pier. It's Virginia's number one tourist attraction. Oh. Looks more like Virginia's number one ghost town. Can you eat? I'm starving. Isn't it cool, Judy? Wow, we're in the unzone. How cool is that? The unzone. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Oh, it's so funny. Look, I have bologna for you. And turkey for stink. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Delicious sandwich. Oh, I brought ketchup. Yes. I remember the ketchup for you. This smells funny. Almost like... Oh, look, a seagull. I like seagulls. Bon appetit. Hola. on a poop picnic? I have. And it stinks on ice. Hardy high. Be quiet, you guys! I can't hear myself right! Sorry. So, the right is the gas, the left is the brake. Okay? Okay. okay. 
so what else stinks about this summer? Let's see. Surfer wave sounds philodelic. Great, good job. Just never try it with Mr. Sponge Frank Square Bottle. <laughs> Mr. Todd's challenge? Find him and get a prize? I got a prize, all right. Mr. Todd! Oh! The Cuckoo Head Prize. And Amy can't stop sending mega thrill pics from Borneo. <laughs> if you ever go to ride an elephant, Rocky, be careful. Ride an elephant. Dave. <laughs> With my luck, you end up giving the elephant a ride. So Mr. Todd is supposed to be somewhere cold, right? Mr. Todd? Well, he isn't working in the bakery freezer, that's for sure. And he wasn't at the mall, the pool, the park, or by the sea. Mr. Todd is nowhere. You and Amy aren't even here, and you'll probably find him before me. I'm so desperado for throw points, and Opal tried to help me put hats on the lines at the library, but we missed the bus. At the worst possible time. All we got were unemployments. And Opal says, when all else fails, dance. You woke up late, fell out of bed. Already can't wait for this day to end. Here's a mess. Clothes don't match. So I tried to make that and into a throw like point game. No one understands. I love dancing, so that'd be easy peasy, right? When blue skies turn gray, so I will have a bad day. Wrong. You look real points. There's always I lost every round. Tomorrow's another day. So what? Oh well. So what? Oh well. So had a bad day. Oh, and how many throw points do I have after one whole summer of trying? Not a zip. Zero zilch points. So Rocky, can you please think up more dares for me? Because otherwise, I'm going to be a no-point dare-doing loser. Hey, Judy, Frank's here. Coming! Hey, Judy, ready for the evil creature double feature? Yep. Me too. Let's go. Who are you? Bride of Frankenstein. And I'm Frankenstein. <laughs> we even have matching rings. Judy and Frank sitting in a tree. Okay, I guess I'm sorry. Do you want me to feed you to Jaws? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then take it back. G and I is the sidekick. Let's go. Buy an open. Whoa. Are you making pancakes? No way. This is plaster of Paris. Wow. Mom and Dad would freak if they saw this mess. Oh, yeah. You should really get out the vacuum and clean it up. I think you should get out the fire hose. See ya. Bye, you look great. I love your costume. To 
money, please. I want to take your money. Wah-ha-ha. How come you're wearing a ski jacket? It's August. Because it's freezing in there. The air conditioner's gone psycho. Did he say freezing? As in cold? there, Bridezilla. Where's your ticket? It's inside. It's in my backpack. Sorry. No ticket? No. Okay. <gasps> Fun sponge. My elbow. <laughs> What is that? It's Bigfoot. I'm a gorilla gorilla artist now, huh? Check out the head. You want to help? I'd love to, only I can't, because I'm going to spend the rest of this bummer summer in my room. Look out, she's in a mood. Am not. Five points already? Rocky.
September. I think this is gonna be melted by then. So you wanna spend the rest of the summer in your room? I might as well. It's already completely for sure ruined. Besides, Frank, my used to be second best friend, but now he's my enemy, called me a fun sponge. Wow, that's bad. Are you a fun sponge? No way, he's the sponge. It's his fault I can't get any thrill points. Right, thrill points. Well, they're important. You can't have an op armor summer without them. Totally, duh, I mean, that's like the number one rule of summer. We have to find a way for you to get the thrill points. What about, you know, we didn't put the hats on the lions yet. The hat's got to ruin, remember? There's got to be something else. It's impossible, Ann Opal. I've already thought of absolutely, positively everything. There's got to be more. Let's go on Google. Let's Google fun. What's that? Testing, testing. You got a close-up of Bigfoot, right? <gasps> and your name is? James Moody. But everyone calls me Stink. Stink is apparently building a statue of Bigfoot to commemorate the monster who may be lurking nearby, according to 27 recent eyewitness reports. Now, most people think Bigfoot isn't real. How do you answer that? Well, people don't think giant squids are real either. Well, they are. And so is Bigfoot. And I'm gonna catch him. If you do catch him, Mr. Stink Moody, you'll be the most famous kid in America. You'll put this town on the map. find him. How many thrill points is that worth, do you think? A million. But who's counting? Hmm? In honor of your courageous actions, we are renaming this town Judy Moodyville. Come on down, Judy, and put this town on the map. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> As your quest for Bigfoot continues, we wish you luck. This is WH2O, broadcasting Don't forget live. me. I'm a Bigfooter, too. You are? It's Judy Moody, with a J and a U-D-Y. Bye. Did you get that? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye. Since when were you a Bigfooter? Since one minute ago. Listen, is Bigfoot really, truly, for absolute positive real? 27 people can't be wrong then I will help you find him. Yeah! But how come? Because this is my absolute last chance to get throw points. And if we actually catch Bigfoot, I might even win the race. Huh? Nothing, never mind. Just tell me everything. Got it. And dogs always have one over this here. That's on page 37. So he can tell you more. He's like a Bigfoot encyclopedia. OK, Bigfooters. Tuesday's meeting is now called to order. Herbin Rose? Present. Present. Stink? Present. New member? Judy Moody. Present. Oh, she looks like a smart cookie. Where is everyone? This is it. This is a club. And we welcome you. Get a picture of that. Better late than never. Rose, do you have a report? Three new sightings. That's the most we've gotten in one week. Excellent. Give me the coordinates. One saw Bigfoot taking laundry off her clothesline. 57 Ashbury Road. It's a mile east of the mall. Gotcha. Another saw something large and furry at the dump. The third swears he saw Bigfoot last night at the corner of Croker and Jefferson. Croker and Jefferson? That's, That's where we live! You live there? Yeah. Oh, did anybody yeah, say right anything? 117. Just call me. We're in all night surveillance. Are you guys up for it? You mean like a stakeout with flashlights and secret codes and stuff? I got a whole book of codes. Oh, right! Yes! <laughs> Real aromas! Herb, Rose, 
You're in charge of equipment. Troops, we've got everything you need. Camouflage netting. Check, check. Night vision goggles. Check, check. Camcorder with whistle. Check, check. Uh, check, check. Thermoses with coffee. Herb, they don't drink coffee. Good luck, team. I will call with any sighting updates. Sir! OK, that's the lot of it. Now remember, if you need backup, this van is at your service. August 3rd, 8.06 p.m. The trap is set, and the Bigfoot stakeout is on. This is Stink Moody reporting live. <laughs> you look like Owl Girl. These don't work. I can't even see. That's because it's not dark yet. Oh. Hey! Are you ready? Let's go over the plan. You two will sleep in the tent. Check. If you see or hear anything, you will contact me immediately on this walkie-talkie. That stings old baby monitor. Whatever. Let's call it the walkie-talkie. What is the signal? Code red. Code red. Awesome. What happens if you fall asleep and Bigfoot attacks us and we're half eaten before you get downstairs? <sighs> he won't attack us. I know Bigfoot family. This means I am your friend. And this means your head was delicious. OK, Bigfoot's not going to eat any heads, all right? Because we're remembering this vow. We will not fall asleep. you were Bigfoot. Why would I be Bigfoot? <laughs> you scared Judy's pants off, Gray. Did not. You were screaming your head off. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was... <laughs> Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Impossible. That was an owl. <laughs> that was an owl. Or Bigfoot pretending to be an owl. Come on, let's go. I have to get my camcorder. Are you coming, Frank? It's worth mega, mega points. Um, I, I love to, but, um... Oh, that's my dog, Goggle Boy! Set for night vision. Eleven. <laughs> you go first. I'll hold the light. You go first. I'm filming. Hey, scary pants. Stay close. Not that close. Then go faster. No way.
that? Sure, this must be where he sleeps. Then where is he? He must have heard us coming. He's probably watching us. Mr. Bigfoot, we come in peace. Hello? His? He was there. I know it. All I know is I got a face full of possum and zero throw points. Don't give up. You can do it. It can take years to catch a monster. But I don't have years. I need throw points now. <laughs> look! Look! It's Bigfoot! Oh, look! Near the dog! Quick! Oscar! Sorry, but I'm afraid we need this bike. Jessica. Jessica, this is a matter of extreme national emergency. Who are you? I am Opal, the special agent in charge of the apprehension of large unidentified creatures. We are requisitioning all available bicycles. <laughs> Thank you for your service to your country. Watch out for the Wait, you see? 
see my supersonic tracking device. That's really like the movies. Wow, that's cool. You, sir, are an artist. I programmed it with 200 different Bigfoot sounds. The minute it picks up the slightest... Ah! Uh, uh. Herb, I told you to use a leg bolt. Right. <laughs> That's the news van. I interviewed me. Follow that news. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Mr. Todd, Judy's teacher. Hi, I'm Opal. And this is Bigfoot. I hired him to help me sell ice cream. With all the Bigfoot mania around here, he'll really help me drum up business. He's way better than the arrow pointing guy. Why didn't you tell me that you knew Mr. Todd? I've been looking for him all summer. Yeah. Dudes, chill. I only met the Todds for this morning. <laughs> Yet there are two questions that still remain. Is the real Bigfoot still at large? And will he show up for the circus? The circus? Yep, it's today, right here at the pier. And remember, you get a prize if you find me. <gasps> Front row seats. Wow, thanks! Are we the first ones to find you? Not exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
say, could you put it back together now, please? Yeah, because we only just got home, and we'd like our little girl in one piece. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. It really didn't hurt that much. Judy tonight? They're way too serious, don't you think? Ta -da! You fixed them! Yep. summer in your room? Oh, for sure, an absolute positive. I wouldn't have put a hat on the lion, or gone on a stakeout, or fallen off a tightrope, or had a poop picnic, <laughs> or found Mr. Todd, or been in a car chase, or gotten sodden half, or met you. Yeah, I've got an idea. How about you don't leave tomorrow? How about you come live with us? Mm -hmm. Ooh. What about this? Next summer, I'm thinking of wrapping the Eiffel Tower in 10,000 scarves. Do you want to help me? For real? That would be on top of spaghetti rare. <laughs> I never thought we could top this summer, but Paris, wow. Paris, next summer, be there. Hi. I love you. Fixing my bike. Yeah, sure. No problem. Ew. <laughs> 50 cents to touch Bigfoot! Hey, this was my idea. And Uncle says art belongs to everyone. Besides, I have to earn money for the Eiffel Tower. 50 cents to touch! For a dollar, Bigfoot will shake your hand. Or better yet, for $100, we'll move him to your yard. For $1,000, I'll tell you where the real Bigfoot lives. Running fast through the sands, catching the wind in my hands.